So, uh, what do you think of the, what do you think of the conference? Oh, it's a good event. Uh, Driver Check always puts on a good event. I've been going to their fitness for duty summits for I think this is my fourth one. Uh, I didn't take part in the virtual ones, unfortunately, but uh, first one in person since 2019 in Edmonton. So it's great to be back in person, and they always have a great lineup of speakers. You and I are always trying to be fit for duty. I'm not sure if we're making it. I keep coming to these things too, but it's a, it's good. The, the, the fitness is an issue, that's for sure. I may be fit for work, but I'm not sure if I could use fit in any other term. There's a lot of things, though. You and I, both being in the transportation industry, there's a lot of things to think about. And I, did you get any clear, uh, clear answers out of there? Because I think we're still in a gray area, from what I. Uh, well, you get some clear answers, but then a lot of the stuff that you're also talking about are legal questions. And as we all know, there's no clear answers when it comes to legal <laughs> questions. But um, you know, I think some of the key things you point out when, when we think of. You know, when we think of driver check and we think a lot of these companies, we think about drug and alcohol testing. And, and that's kind of where we leave it off. And what was kind of talked about here is just because somebody passed a drug and alcohol test, if you thought there was something wrong with them that they weren't fit for work, just because they passed a drug and alcohol test doesn't mean they're fit for work. So it's it's not just about drug and alcohol. It's about a fitness for duty. Are, are they tired? Are they on medication? Or are they on something that it's affecting their ability to do their job and and affect the safety of those around them? So. And that could be anybody. And that doesn't mean you have to be on anything to do that either, right? You could be just tired from, heck, we got a new bed. I'm still working that out. <laughs> I, I, I get three teenage kids at home. Sometimes that keeps you up all night long wondering where they are. I mean, right? <laughs> So. That was the reason that some of us were smoking pot after 60, let me tell you. I, I bowed out for that. <laughs> I haven't gone there yet. <laughs> I'm not on the pot yet, but I tell you, they keep stretching it every day. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. What's, what's going on with PMTC? Well, I got you here. What's going on with PMTC uh, as far as you got your conference coming up next year? Or? Yeah, so, I mean, the first events I guess we'd have coming up. We have a, a webinar coming up on November 2nd on uh, natural gas, renewable yeah. natural gas. On November 9th, we have a in-person event in Edmonton. Okay. Uh, multiple different topics. Alberta Labor is going to be there. Alberta uh, Enforcement. Yep. Uh, we got an individual coming out to speak on hydrogen chucks and the Aztec program they've they've done out there. And then we have a panel of insurance risk specialists taking uh, talking about how risk specialists can handle your fleet. So it, it's a half-day seminar in Edmonton on November 9th. So if people are interested, go to our website pmtc.ca and. Uh, and check it out. Our conference is a little bit away. It's June of 2023 uh, in Hamilton. All right. Well, we'll be talking more about that as we get closer. Right. Thanks for your time, buddy. Appreciate it.